Ever wondered what makes the best running gear? Spoiler, it's the secret to making every run feel easier. In this newsletter, I'm going to tell you all about my favorite run gear, shoes, and the tech that I'm using. I'll touch on why the Ultra Escalante 3 is my favorite running shoe, natural feel, versatile, and just plain solid, how the Coos Pro optical armband heart rate monitor stacks up against chest straps, and why it might be the upgrade that you didn't know you needed, what makes the Kaizen singlet a standout in my running gear, smart design, and a philosophy that's as cool as the shirt itself. Let's get into it. All right, first up, shoes that I'm digging. Ultra Escalante 3s. I am not a sneakerhead. I don't really care about the latest shoes or shoe reviews. I want functional shoes. I try to keep a comprehensive collection of shoes, ranging from minimal shoes to super carbon bouncy, crazy tech shoes and everything in between. So I like to have the full gamut spectrum of running technology under my feet. I was looking for something that was an all rounder as far as everyday shoes about a year ago that I could walk in, easily run and lift in. I wanted it to feel natural, have a wide toe box and have a zero millimeter heel drop to strengthen my ankles and Achilles. Yes, my podiatrist, my running podiatrist said it is absolutely fine to use these to strengthen Achilles and ankles, etc. I heard of Ultra years ago when I was looking for zero millimeter shoes after reading the big book of endurance by zone two aerobic pioneer, Dr. Phil Mavatone. I never got them. I landed on my favorite company, Saucony Kinvara, my favorite shoe and my favorite company. I've had them for the last year and can report they are everything I wanted them to be just supportive enough to run in as I can't run in actual minimalist shoes. I actually have low heel pads genetically, so it really hurts to run barefoot on concrete or with thin, those minimal shoes. I can, however, walk in minimalist shoes. But while supportive, they can also bend the ultras into a ball and my big toe can dig into the ground and push off. Great for lifting, easy running, sprinting, plyos, living, etc. I eased into them over the course of four weeks, first walking, then walk running, then running, and finally running 10 kilometers, six miles for you metrically allergic people. And I did it all straight at an easy pace and I was good, no injuries. Future Darren here, I won't do the thing. You know that thing where people go, hey, you should subscribe, rate, share, give a thumbs up, rah, 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 rah. Now, while I'd love for you to do that anyways, I'd rather you do something that would actually help you implement this whole 1% better every day thing that I'm absolutely obsessed about. This episode, while helpful, most likely is just the first step of many to transforming you to being more consistent in your training, racing, and your life. The next steps would be to sign up for our free weekly newsletter, The 1% Better Runner, and I'll just put it bluntly. For some of you, your obsession with your quick wins might just kill your running career. Use our weekly tools and tactics from the newsletter to put yourself on the road of 1% daily improvement or settle for a life full of mediocrity, your choice. Sign up at either dlakecreates.com forward slash news or the link in the show notes or description below. Let's get back into it. Next up, tech that I'm digging. Coos Pro optical armband heart rate monitor this was super random yet an awesome find quick backstory my wahoo heart rate monitor was slowly dying they usually give up the ghost all these heart rate monitors even garmin after about three years i found especially with heavy use when you sweat a lot and wash them this is going on five years so i knew i was pushing it it finally started dropping out mid-run like it actually stopped disconnecting with my watch and i knew i couldn't trust it from an upcoming annual half marathon, the whole 1% better thing, year seven of 10. I knew of a few optical armband heart rate monitors out there, but I didn't really want to spend the money because my HRM heart rate monitor, it worked fine. So I go on Amazon and I see this brand Coos Pro for half the price, no hate. Then I look at the reviews, 4.5 stars. Wait, what's going on here? And it was validated that the thing is accurate, works better, probably more consistently than most name brand HRMs and obviously was half the price. This is what the review said. So I got the latest model. It was the nine immediately. And it then sold out the next day because I tried to recommend it to a friend because the eight was only available at as of the time of this newsletter. I haven't checked in a few weeks, but hopefully they get more at the Amazon AU store where I live right now or other Amazon countries. I can confirm this thing is a beast. It has a on off button. I can't believe chest HRMs don't have one. The amount of batteries that go dead on the chest straps this is also rechargeable. I despise taking out that chest strap CR 2032 coin battery every single time. 
and it rarely gets sweaty and slimy because it's on my arm where not too much sweat comes down like my other HRMs, the Tress ones, because again, it's on my arm. It's super accurate as I tested it against my chest strap and it went up and down perfectly with the chest strap. And it also validated that my heart rate from my chest strap was reading two to six BPMs higher than it should be. I had a suspicion that my chest strap was off for years. And this is 100% confirmation. Thank you. I haven't worn, tried the Polar, Wahoo, or Skashi rhythm armband monitors, those ones. They may be better, but they're almost double the price. So I rolled the dice and I got lucky. Ironically, they said that chest straps were and maybe still are the gold standard for accuracy with heart rate monitors, but I always had issues with mine. But this armband does not give me issues. I never used optical wrist baits watch Heart rate monitors because, yeah, they're worthless for running, honestly, running fast and only accurate for sitting, sleeping, walking, easy running, on pavement, flat, and sex. You can learn more on heart rate training as we did a deep dive on that here or here. And in the future, I'll be doing a fun deep dive on heart rate and heart rate monitors, my issues that I've had through the years. In the future, I'll do that content. So stay tuned for that. The last thing closed that I'm digging. So this Kaizen Run Singlet, K-Z-N Run. I love this company because the design was made to have a bounce at the bottom and not ride up like most high-end singlets. So they actually, the Nike ones ride up. Kaizen is short K-Z-N for Kaizen, K-A-I-Z-N, which is Japanese for incremental gains. Brick by brick, which is drum roll, 1% better every day. The founder is an awesome guy here, Gus in Sydney, Australia, who has a great head on his shoulders. We nerd out regularly about random tech stuff on WhatsApp. It's a lot of fun sharing all these random sports science findings, etc. Looking forward to trying their socks and more gear as they slowly roll that out. Uh, in the future, I'll be doing nutrition that I'm consuming, so more on that, and apps that I'm using for running and for general productivity. Note, no one has paid me for these recommendations. And when slash if I do take sponsorship money, you will know very clearly that they gave it free for me to test. There are no affiliate links currently, but it may change, and you will know in the future, transparency slash trust is all we have as humans. Again, thanks for watching or listening to this new format. I will keep incrementally making this format better and better so that you can get 1% better each day and learn from me and all my mistakes and findings, etc. Thanks for rocking with me.